Hello and welcome to today's video. We found something new. Well, new to us at least. And from what I understand, this is the first box in the Be Kind Club. This was curated by Ellen DeGeneres and I decided to order it. This is the quarterly winter box and I'm impressed with what I'm seeing so far. It came with a very nice little, little magazine that tells you about what is in the box. And it also mentions some of their other clubs. They have something for game night. They have something if you want to get a box for your cat. Very interesting. And the little magazine here does tell you about the items and it tells you the price. So you can decide if you're getting value because value is not only the tangible, what you're going to use value is I put in X amount of dollars. Did I get a reasonable return on my investment? So let's jump on in. Yes, let's go. The suspense is killing me. First up is going to be a cubic zirconia product by Kenneth J. Lane. They are round classic stud earrings with a value of $60. And I'm noticing also that a lot of these items have types of uh, discount codes that are good through the end of February. And from what I understand, this box is still available for purchase through the end of January. These are what the two little earrings look like. And I'm familiar with this brand because they were often featured in the Relax and Radiate crate from the girlfriend. And unfortunately, we were notified at the beginning of January that Relax and Radiate has decided to shut down their box. So I am familiar with this brand. And again, this is what they look like. I'm trying to hold them without dropping them. They look to be of good quality. I would definitely wear these. Oh, me too. Fatima is holding the little card here for the second item. This is from a company called Party Trick. It has a value of $315. There's a QR code on here that you scan. You've got a lifetime membership to this company. Apparently, they help you to set up for parties or hosting events. Well, I presume whether it's a big event or a small event, they set you up with different um items or information. This particular card that we got comes with little stickers that you can have people put on their glasses so you don't mix up your beverages. Next is something from a company called Jiggy. Help me out, Fatima. Here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Here we go. Okay. We have ourselves a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Not too many boxes do jigsaw puzzles. And they included a code on the back of this and glue once you do finish your puzzle. So you can glue it all together and I guess hang it, hang it on the wall. Now, one thing that I did notice is there was no picture included. I don't know if you scan the code, if you get a picture or not. In the little magazine booklet, let me flip this around, it does have a tiny picture that you can see there. I'm hoping that maybe if you scan the code, you get more than just that little picture. And it indicates that this item has a value of $40. Okay, just hopping in here 
with a little more information on the jiggy jigsaw puzzle. It was hard to get the QR code to work because it is a highly reflective surface. And with assistance from Jeff, I was able to get it to work. It did take me to a website where basically it was showing me how to use this tool to, once the puzzle is complete, flip it over and use this to apply the glue. It has a picture that I'll pop in over here. I don't know if that is the picture of the jigsaw puzzle that we have received or if what we received is not got a picture or if it's the corner of a picture that is shown in the magazine. So I'm not too thrilled with that one. I'm not a big jigsaw puzzle person anyway, but I fear that that item might wind up in the Goodwill box. And it was, like I said, it was hard to get the QR code to work because this is a reflective surface. This item is a nice wide tooth comb and apparently this is made from plants, not plastic. It is from a company called Cocos Focus. Kind of a neat idea. And it feels firm enough that if your hair is a little thick and tangled, because the idea is a wide tooth comb is good for thicker hair or untangling hair, it feels firm enough. I mean, I'm giving it a good push. It feels firm enough like it's not going to break. And the Cocos Pocus crown and mane comb has a retail of $32. It appears that this company is woman founded. This next item has a retail of $8 and it's also from a woman founded business. And it is a car freshener. It is cranberry orange. Broken top Brands is the name of the company. And there she is in all of her glory. And next from Celeste Soul, we have a bracelet called the Billy Pearl Beaded Bracelet. And that is what it looks like with the pearl in the front. And it's a nice elastic that I can basically, thank you, slither it over my wrist. And it fits my wrist rather nicely, not too tight. And it has a value of $32.50. So that gets us halfway through this box. What have you seen so far that you like? Comment down below. Nosy Carols want to know. I would say my favorite items thus far are the earrings, this bracelet, and probably the air freshener. And now moving right along with this video, the seventh item in this book is called How to Love Yourself by Rachel Modorsky. This looks like an interesting little book. It gives you different tasks to do on either certain days or as you have time to work your way through the book. We've got, what have we got here? In looking through, there's different tasks again. Decide, love yourself, make a list. Different tasks and different bits of information on how to love yourself. I thought that was a nice change to find in a box. Something to help you better yourself. 
Nothing wrong with trying to better yourself and to be kind to yourself. Yes. And that book is valued at fifteen ninety nine. In case we forgot to mention it. Next up is a Swedish dish cloth. And I like these. These make or are designed for, you know, using instead of paper towels. I like to use these around just to help wipe down the counter in the evening. And they shrink back down to size. And this one has got a bumblebee design to it. And let's see what the booklet says. It has a value of $6.95, and it's from a company called Sweet Gum Home. And next up from Bausch and Lom, we have some eye whitening drops. And I did look it up because I thought, okay, th this must be a sample size. No, this is full size. And the price for that full size is $14.99. This is Zolly Carl's. Yes, and this is a better for you candy and is designed to, I guess, help decrease tooth decay. And I tried one, I tried one too. We agree that they definitely have a sweet taste they are made with natural sugars rather than artificial sweeteners. So that is good. And yeah, it tasted just like a caramel. And honestly, one was enough to satisfy my sweet tooth. And she's got a good sweet tooth. And it has a retail of, that's a good question. $6.99. This next item is from a company called Nima Oberoi. I probably mangled that name, my apologies. I was surprised when I saw what it was for because my creative mind went a whole totally different direction. This is a $34 wine stuffer. Yeah, for your wine bottle. I'm not a wine drinker. I took a look at this and honestly, my creative instincts took over. I want to go to the craft store, get some googly eyes to put here, something pink for a fuzzy nose, and paint the insides of this part and turn it into an Easter bunny. Apparently, this is a wishbone style for your wine stopper. And last but not least, from Kitsch, we have a satin pillowcase. And if you can believe it or not, this is my first satin pillowcase with three years of opening various subscription boxes. This is the first time I've gotten a satin pillowcase. So I will give this a try. I've heard good things about satin pillowcases. So We'll have to see if I like this or not. And it has a value of $19. I think my top three from this half of the box would be the candy, the Love Yourself book, and the Swedish dishcloth. How about you? I'm nosy. I want to know. Leave a comment down below. And now, taking a quick look at the Nitty Gritty. This is a quarterly box. It's curated by Ellen DeGeneres. This box had 12 items in it. The overall value when you add everything up is $585.42. And I'd say that's a pretty good investment because the box cost $54.99. Shipping was $5.99. I had to pay tax, which was $4.26. So all in for me was $65.24. 
I definitely feel like I got both my monetary value as well as my physical use value out of this quarterly box. Yes, it looked fun and good and tasty and snazzy. Please comment down below what you liked. And if you would like to consider subscribing to my channel, it would be appreciated. We're trying to grow the channel as always. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Watch something else that's popping up on the screen. It might be fun. And we do hope to see you again in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.